Disclaimer, this is not a tutorial on how to make Rocket League maps in Unreal Engine 5 or UDK. I'm simply going to explain that maps are not going to work in Unreal Engine 5 without the help of Psyonix. So first of all, you're all probably saying that I'm just a downer, and I'm not. I would want to use Unreal Engine 5 to make Rocket League maps if it was possible, or if it had a clear way in order for it to work. But it doesn't have a clear way, and it doesn't look like it's going to work. First thing I need to mention is that I do know a lot about Unreal Engine 5 because I've been using it a lot for no apparent reason. And so I know a lot about the files and what they are. You need to understand first that Rocket League is built in .upks, which is a packaging. You can easily make a .upk in UDK and replace one of the Rocket League maps and you can play it. Same for Unreal Engine 5, right? Wrong. Unreal Engine 5 games are packaged in files called .packs. You can't create a .pack like you can create a .upk. By default, everything is a .u asset and a .pack is only acquired after exporting the game. Another thing to explain is that in UDK, you create a map in our project, and it makes a .udk. In Unreal Engine 5, it makes a .u map, which isn't really a big problem, right? Well, yeah, it's a big problem. You can create a .u map in UDK also, but they're only used for templates. So why can't we just use the .u map and replace it in the game files like a .udk? Because you can't. Whenever you export a game, everything goes into dot packs like we talked about earlier. All the dot u maps and dot u assets all get put into these dot packs, and you can't just easily decode them to replace one of the dot u assets. Another thing is that you can put data inside of a dot u decay and store it in the file. You can't do that with a dot u map. So why don't we just export a dot pack and replace it? Well, that is a possibility of what might happen. The only problem is that exporting takes a while. And we'd also need to know the exact name of the .u asset inside of the .pack in order to replace it correctly. And if you needed to export every single time in between tests, that's going to be annoying. So how would we utilize Unreal Engine 5 to make Rocket League maps? Well, we either can't, or Psyonix has to help us out. The only thing I can think of that could get around this is if they gave us a folder with a dummy .u map and allowed that folder to access the .u assets within it. So that way, we could put all of our .u assets in this folder, replace the .u map with our .u map, and you'd be done. If they were to do that, it's not gonna be easy for them to program, or at all possible. That's all I got on how it could maybe work and how Unreal Legend 5 does not mean happy things for Rocket League so far. Until we get an official word for Psyonix on how it's gonna work, I don't think it will. Another thing is that if they do plan to make a Rocket League creative mode, then that's the end of map making in all in general. Yes, you'll be able to make maps in Rocket League now, but that means the end of all complicated maps. All the maps that are really fun, any map like Rumble 2.0, even the simplest thing of spaghetti racing would not be able to be possible. Again, this video is complete speculation and just giving you a look at the main differences in both engines. Obviously, Unreal Engine 5 is better but it might be the end to Rocket League map making.